Governor Kathy Hochul says she and New York State lawmakers have reached a tentative agreement on a proposed $229 billion budget. It includes changes to the state's controversial bail reform laws and more cash for the MTA. CBS 2's Natalie Dudridge is live outside the governor's office on the east side. Good morning, Natalie. Good morning, Cindy and Mary. Well, the governor calls this a conceptual budget, which means it's still not a, a done deal. There are details to be worked on. It also still needs to be voted on, but it covers a wide range of measures from climate to crime. And this half hour will start with transit. I laid out a bold vision, a way to make New York safer, more affordable, and more livable. An infusion of money for the MTA, $1.1 billion, $65 million of which is going to reduce the proposed fare increase. And they're launching a two year pilot program in New York City to offer free bus service on five different lines, one in each of the boroughs. Last night, transit officials saying in a statement, MTA riders have no better friend than Governor Kathy Hochul. She has been working to make sure New Yorkers have safe, reliable, frequent service. The tentative budget would also boost minimum wage from $15 to $17 an hour by 2026 in New York City, Long Island, and Westchester, and the rest of the state by 2027. Among the biggest changes, the state's bail laws. It gives judges discretion. They need to hold violent criminals accountable while still upholding our commitment to a justice system that is fair and accessible to all. There will also be more than $1 billion for mental health services. The state's child tax credit will be expanded to children under four years old, and the cigarette tax is expected to rise one dollar, making it the highest in the nation. But the governor's plan to boost affordable housing, central to her agenda, fell apart when no agreement could be reached. We're not walking away from this issue, and I won't stop working hard and fighting until we make housing more affordable for New Yorkers. Now, again, this budget still needs to be voted on, and that could come next week. On the east side, Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News. Natalie, thank you.